Happy Wednesday, Magical Fam. <laughs> so today is ruled by um the planet Mercury. You know, Mercury is all about communication. So I'm hoping Spirit really come through for this Chris Brown reading. <laughs> so this reading was requested by several of you um not too long ago. Um, and I'm excited because y'all know I've been wanting to do Chris Beasy's reading. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm not even going to waste too much time because I know I want to do a Doja Cat reading. Um, I was requested for a Drake, a Drake reading and a couple more readings, y'all. So I'm going to try to get them out to y'all. So let's just jump into this Chris Brown. Oh, I'm already getting chills, y'all. Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. I told y'all I'm going to just jump right into it. I'm going to start off with his energy. Just to see how he currently feeling. And I feel like, you know what? Chris Brown has a very independent spirit. He's a he's a trailblazer. He's very independent. He's very, um, he's a go-getter. He's ambitious. As we know, you know what I mean? But I feel like this year is personal for him. I feel like it's going to be about um, reconciliation, uh, his family members. He's going to try to get right with people. And I think he's thinking about a serious relationship. So let's just see what comes up with his current energy. Spirit, what is Chris Brown's current energy? How is he currently feeling right now, Spirit? What's going on in his life? Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. What is this current energy, Spirit? What are the energies that are surrounding him? How is he feeling? Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. I already got the Eight of Pentacles. Reverse. Spirit, how's Chris Brown currently feeling right now? What is his current energy? Okay. King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like he just, like I said, I feel like he's going to be more about other people. I can see him breaking free of just that independent mindset he's been having. And I feel like it's been stressful for him. He wants to re reconcile with people. He wants to get his, his life together hermit mode yeah see he wants i feel like he wants to come out of this though he's been in this hermit mode for so long we barely even see anything hear anything anything about chris brown seems like he's kind of been low-key because it's been the um mr media you know they've they tore his ass up they've been doing that you know for about like almost 10 years strong now sim ever since that rihanna and we're gonna get to rihanna ever since that rihanna incident you know what i mean so currently i feel like you know he's been kind of feeling out of balance with his relationships and he wants to get that right um like i said even with people that he might have had problems with in the past i feel like he's realizing like wow my emotions and the way that i am affects other people i think he's really feeling that and vice versa you know i feel like he's a sensitive soul too at the same time but he's ready to move away from you know any type of depression that he's had he's just tired of feeling alone that's the energy that I'm getting from this. Is that's not the ways that he's been going, you know, um, as far as and this is not even about his career. This is his personal energy. Just his like I said, just even in his, you know, I guess I can throw his work life a little bit, because that's what the Pentacles is about. But just, you know, he just realized like, wow, some of my old ways just have not been working. And I just want to try something new. But this King of Pentacles right here is Chris Brown. He's straight financially. You know, he has built a legacy for himself. So this King of Pentacles is definitely Chris. You know, he's very solid with his career and what he has built so far. Chris don't have to make another album and he will be okay. But like I said, his pers his personal life, I feel like he wants to move away from this. You know, he's isolated himself for a long time and he's tired of it. And it's caused some sort of um, an imbalance in his life. He just wants to, he's tired of being looked at as emotionally unstable. You know, he's tired of that. So I feel like, you know, he's just going to, he ain't going to try to do it for the world, for the media. But in his personal life, he's going to try to right his wrongs. And anybody he might have hurt it, he might have hurt. Uh, I said hurt it, Lord. <laughs> I sound like these kids. But yeah, he's just, he going to try to get right with the people that matter the most to him. That's what I'm getting from this. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. So I know you guys also asked, um... I'm going to jump into his career. Is he working on a new album? I haven't heard anything, so I'm just going to see what Spirit got to say. Spirit, is Chris Brown working on new music? Is he currently working on a new album? I don't know, guys. I just feel like this year is going to be more about his personal life. But we're going to see. Is he currently working on a new album, Spirit? 
he's going to bring us some new music. The Tempest. Queen of Swords. See, it's about family for him this year, y'all. I just... Let me see. Yeah, he's focused on the people that matter to him. The, I just said it. Didn't I say I feel like this year he's going to try to get right with relationships? And I feel like, you know... We might hear some we might hear something about his love life soon or maybe um in the near future. Like I said, this is personal. This is intimacy right here, y'all. This is not about his music. I really feel strongly about, you know, him and his personal relationships with not just exes, maybe even friends too. You know what I mean? But this is a lover. So this lets me know he really I don't feel like he's thinking about music right now. He's thinking about this. He's thinking about partnership relationships family old girlfriends new girlfriends <laughs> i mean i feel like he wants to settle down like i said he's tired of being looked at as this emotional just <laughs> i'm fit to be tied like he's tired of looking at like this emotional person that can't get his life right who's out of control and immature like he's tired of looking like that you know he wants to move past this this queen of swords reverse he wants to open up his heart more he wants more balance in his life. So right now, guys, I really don't see music being at his forefront. I feel like he's very, very... I know how I feel about the chariot tunnel vision. He, he really wants to get his personal life together before he gets to the music. So let's keep going. Let's see what comes out. Yeah, guys, he, he's just ready... He wants to, I feel like he wants to get his personal life together. I feel like that's his priority, for, right? his current priority. So let's keep going. I want to jump back um, into the love thing a little bit because I know y'all asked me, does he still love Rihanna? So I'm going to just go straight into it. Does Chris Brown still love Rihanna, Spirit? Does Chris Brown still love Rihanna? Does he still have intimate feelings for Rihanna? I feel like he does. Now, in love? I don't know. But we're going to see. Is he in love with Rihanna? I mean, Y'all know I'm poor for my love deck. So, we're going to try to double check this. Two of Cups? <laughs> nope. Not on. Like I said, I feel. I don't know if he's... Mm, I don't know. Let's see. If he's in love with her, I feel like he has love for her. Yeah. Three of Cups. See, this is multiple people. So, I feel like that he loves her. He's just not deeply in love with her like he used to be. I feel like, like I said, I feel like if anything, he wants to be, he wants to be cool with her. He wants to be cool with a lot of people that he hurt. Like, he's starting to emotionally mature. Like, he cares, like I said, it's more about his personal life. We got the three of wands here. This is manifestation. So, like I said, this, I don't, I'm not seeing no, like, love feelings in these cards. And then we can't, you know. Two of Cups reverse. We definitely can't re um we can't ignore this. This is about partnership, um, friendship, and things like that. So, and it's reverse. So I feel like he's trying to write that before he's trying to, you know, get back onto that type of level with her. Like, let's be in love. Let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. I feel like he's just trying to fix what broke that connection in the first place. So he cares about that. It's a lot of changes with, with him since he's been with with um Rihanna. He's changed a lot. So I feel like he cares for her. Ace of Swords reverse, but he know he they had such a tumultuous past. He's not even really thinking about trying to get right back into an intimate relationship with her. But he's definitely planning on trying to make it right with her. And I feel like actively he's doing that. So I feel like they they probably are cool behind the scenes. But no, nah, trying to like get back how it was. I don't think that's his main focus. His, their, both of their lives have changed so much since then. But let me see what the love that got to say. Oh, my card's already jumping. What's this? Puppy love crush. Hmm. Let's see what the love that got to say. Does he still love Rihanna? What is the energy between Chris Brown and Rihanna? And you know, puppy love, that's an innocent love. That's not a, a fully matured love. That's not like a I'm a marry you type love. So, but I definitely believe he has love for her. So, what is the energy between Chris Brown and Rihanna? Still? Chris Brown and Rihanna. Uh, oh, a lot of my cards just jumped. Let me see. <laughs> what even fell on the floor, y'all? Growth. Yeah, he's trying to mature, guys. Puppy love, growth. I told y'all. 
Earth sign, another earth sign. Who is the earth sign? Is he an earth sign? Ladies, man. See, yeah, he's not trying to be committed. Third party. I told y'all it's not just about him trying to be right with Rihanna. He's trying to get right with a lot of people that he hurt. So he's not quite there yet with this ladies, man. But he's trying to show growth. Like I said, he's trying to show and improve. He's tired of being looked at as the wild boy, the wild card. So that's what that is. Let's see, though. We're going to keep pulling. So um, I know you guys asked, are they still friends? So I'm going to pull from the tarot for that day. Because that can kind of give us a little bit more detail. So let's see what comes up. Spirit, is Chris Brown and Rihanna still friends? Are they still friends, Spirit? Are they still friends? They got that boundary card. Is Chris Brown and Riri still friends? Are they still friends? I feel like they don't. Like I said, I feel like it's not that deep anymore. They've both grown and are continuing to grow. The sun. Yeah, I mean... They cool, but it's definitely boundaries now. Eight of Cups. So this is, like I said, to me, this would be like a hard time moving away from something. Ace of Wands. Yeah, ain't no, it ain't too much active. It ain't too much, Um, I'm sorry, activity between the two of them. Queen of Cups reverse. So yeah, I would say mm, they like, yeah, go that red flag and the sun reverse. So they like, you know what? I forgive you. That was a long time ago, but you know, this ain't that. And I feel like this is Rihanna saying, this not that. <laughs> I got to put my guard up for you, nigga, because, yeah, it, it was just too much that went on between us. So I feel like, I do feel like, you know, they are cordial. And I kind of feel like they do still speak. But it's just not, I don't think it'll ever be what it once was. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I definitely want somebody to tell me, who is that earth sign, though? Please, somebody tell me in the comments. But, yeah. Like I said, I mean, I don't see nothing too serious in these cards, but it definitely shows the, you know, emotional imbalance between the two and them. And, you know, ain't no action, though. Ain't shit, ain't, ain't shit shaking, y'all. <laughs> so let's keep going, because I know y'all had a lot of questions. So um, I know y'all asked about his third baby mama. It's a third or second? Second baby mama, um, Amika. I hope I'm saying her name right. So, y'all want to know the tea between them. So, let's see. I know y'all asked, was he in love or was it lust? So, is he in love? Spirit, is Chris Brown in love with his second baby mama, Amika? Is he in love with her? Does he really, truly, deeply love Amika Spirit? Does Chris Brown truly love Amika? Is he in love with her? Does he love that spirit? Look at that manifestation. Don't this girl look sad? Let's see. Maybe, yeah. I definitely tell y'all this. It ain't all uh, rainbows and sunshine. But we gonna see what else come up. Six of pentacles. Five. Ooh, they got the five of wands. And they got the five of sore so they be fighting y'all and i feel like they argue and fight a lot i don't feel like this is the one i'll say this i don't feel like this is the one this is not the one that he wants to marry i don't see that they got problems this is like physical fighting too y'all so i hope that's not what's going on and they argue a lot it's pettiness between them maybe even a little bit jealous but he does provide we know that he's a good provider you know he has two children right so this might be representing his two children. So he's taking care of his responsibilities as a dad, as a father. But I don't feel like that he like, ooh, I, I met my match. You know, this is the one. And she, I feel like she might be a little bit jealous too. I feel like she'd be watching him. But yeah, um, no. You see this girl in this three of wands? She's still looking. She's still looking out into the vast universe. <laughs> so I think this is representing Chris Brown. He's looking, but he wants a relationship, y'all. But he just wants to get his life together. That's important. That's how you know he's serious. He's serious about it. He's ready for a change. So somebody gave me, you know what? Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go to my truth stack because you know I love to double check. So I want to see what the truth's love that got to say about 
Chris Brown and Amika. Oh, something just fell. My car is just in. Realization. Mm. What is the <laughs> what is the energy between Chris Brown and Amika Spirit? Show us the energy between the two. What is the energy spirit between Chris Brown and Amika? Chris Brown and Amika Spirit. Show us the energy. What is the energy between the two of them? Hell, it's the earth sign again. Somebody tell me who is the earth sign? Who is the earth sign? Single parent. Sing, she's not the one. <laughs> this is a woman and her baby. She's not the one. I just said that. Let's see. Let's just see. I want to see what else come up. What else, Spirit? Chris Brown and Amika. Come through, Spirit. Attraction. It was lust. Intimacy. It was it was lust. One more for the roll. One more for the roll. <laughs> Let's just see. Walking away. Walking away. Y'all see it. She's not the one. She ain't the one, y'all. It was a lust thing. So let's keep going, y'all. Okay, so let's keep going, y'all. So I know, moving on from that a little bit, I know y'all asked about the energy between him and Quavo. Now, this is new for me because I didn't even know they had a beef. So let's see what comes up. Chris Brown and Cravo. Chris Brown and Cravo. Spirit, what is the energy between the two of them? What was the problem? What was the issue between Chris Brown and Cravo? Spirit? What is the energy between Chris Brown and Cravo? Let's see. Queen of Cups. Was it about a girl? The Hierophant? Mm, to me, that'd be that record label. The Empress, there's another pretty lady. Let's see. The Chariot. Three of Cups. I feel like it has something to do with a girl, y'all. Look at all these sexy ladies. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful ladies. I think it might have something to do with a girl. Somebody drop down and let me know because I didn't even know this beef. I didn't know that they even had a problem, y'all. So, let me know, y'all. Am I kind of on point with this? I definitely, like I say, because this is so new to me. But I feel like it has something to do with other people. I'll say that. It definitely has to do with other people. So, um, yeah, guys. That's what I'm picking up. I feel like it has something to do with a chick. So, let me know down in the comments. Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> let me know, y'all. So, let's keep going. So, while I'm pulling, asking him about, I mean, asking him, Lord, ask the spirit about Quavo and Chris Brown. I want to know, what is the deal between Chris Brown and Drake? Are they that cool, y'all? Are they cool? I think I've seen something. I know they made a song, but, or something like that. But is they, what is the true energy spirit between Chris Brown and Drake? Chris Brown and Drake spirit. What is the true energy between the two guys? Chris Brown and Drake. Chris Brown and Drake. Chris Brown and Drake. What is the true energy spirit between the two men? Chris Brown and Drake. Let's see. There you go. That record label get between the two of them. The lovers. Y'all, I'm not even finna say what I was thinking initially. <laughs> I'm sure that's not what it is. Let me see. The Two of Cups. No, they're not cool like that. I feel like they cordial, though. But I feel like the record industry keeps a beef between them. And they're not even a beef. But y'all know how people just be, like, egging people on. Like, they want to see them into it so bad, you know, for publicity. But I definitely do. The Magician. So, yeah. Somebody feel like... I feel like they both feel like, yeah... I know your potential, you know my potential, so I, I'm going to be cool because I, I forgive, but I never forget. This is what this card is giving me. But this Two of Cups reverse, no. No, I don't feel like they beefing, but they ain't best friends. That'll never be. And it's because of this. It's because of this. It got something to do with love. Not the, not no intimate love between them, y'all. I'm not saying that, but y'all already know. Because of Rihanna. 
it'll never be the same between them. But I feel like if they let bygones be bygones. But I'm like, no, nah, we can never be like friends, friends. We ain't homies, homies. But we good. You know, we good. Ain't nobody mad. Y'all know how the male ego is. They don't ever want you to feel like they hurting over a, a girl. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I don't see it. Three of Wands. They make music together. They'll manifest things together. But that's about it. That is about it. So I'm going to definitely pull some shadow cards for Chris Brown just to see what he could be dealing with on the shadow end of his life. Um, I think I got all y'all questions. I don't, I'm trying to think. That was really my question between Drake and Chris Brown because that's what I wanted to know. Like, how they doing? Because I know they had made a song together. So but I wanted to see like how they was really doing, doing. Y'all feel me? <laughs> okay, so let's get into the shadow reading. Let's get into this shadow read. Spirit, show us Chris Brown's shadow side. What is he dealing with right now? What is Chris Brown's shadow energy like, Spirit? Show us. Show us the truth, Spirit. What is the shadow energy? Because everybody got a shadow side. Ain't nobody perfect. I don't care who you are. What does he keep hitting, Spirit? Because he's definitely trying to break free from it. So what does he keep hitting, Spirit? Show us his shadow energy. Let's see. Hmm. Look at this. It's a message. Dedication. Commitment. It's hard for him to be committed to things. And it's hard for him to keep focus. I feel like he might have some obsessive energy too, guys. That's what I'm getting from this. Queen of Swords, yeah. He was he could he had a point where he was cold hearted because like I said, he gives me an independent energy, so that could be really off putting to people, especially when he goes through something. Yeah, see, this is his conflicts with other people. You see how these people look like they just over there trying to bash each other head in. He did have problems with being abusive to other people, but I feel like he has like I said, we got that growth card with him. So like I said, I really strongly feel like him trying to right his wrongs this year. Queen of Swords. This is just somebody that can just be really cold hearted. The chariot just unfocused, uncommitted, and obsessive. Let me see. I just want to see what else come up for him. Show us spirit. What is what's his shadow side? What is he dealing with behind closed doors, spirit? The star, see, this is him. He struggles with his celebrity. He struggled with his, his career. Not with the success part, but with everything that comes with the success. That's the shadow side, Hollywood. The hangman. Hmm. Elevation, spirit. Change, up, change. Illusion. I just want to do one more. It is a clarifier card, Spirit. Hmm. Family. Ten of Cups. Family. So he has some issues. And this is just not blood family. People that consider him family, there are some issues with that, guys. And I see children. I can't. This child is standing out to me as well. So I feel like this can also represent, you know, his past. You know, has anybody heard anything about his father? What is the tea with Chris Brown's father? I feel like there were some issues with that, you know. So he struggles with without having that. He struggles about that. I feel like he struggles with that. Did his father pass away? Did he abandon them? Somebody drop down in the comments and let me know the relationship with him and his father. Because now that I think about it, I never heard anything about his dad. Only his mom. But yeah, he, he struggles between his personal life, his spiritual life, and being Chris Brown that we know. He's just Chris. He just wants to be Chris, you know. So, yeah, guys, this is a shadow energy. This is a lot. This is a lot, guys. So, y'all know I got to get my foul mouth deck. Hopefully, this foul mouth deck can put all these readings I just did with these cards in perspective. <laughs> so, let's see. 
What messages do you have for us here regarding Chris Brown? What messages do you want us to know regarding Chris Brown? It might work if you work at it. Yeah, he's trying to work on himself. I'm finna just let all these cards drop. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's see. Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah, this is per I did not say this year was personal for him, y'all. Piss or get off the potty chair. He know it's like now or never. I need to get my life together. I'm not getting any younger. I got these two children. Oh, speaking of children, I think somebody also asked, did he have a third child on the way? So I'm going to go back to tarot after this. So let me see. Your rash needs to be more spiritual. Didn't I just say he struggles with his personal life, his spiritual life, and his career life? It might work if you work at it. He's working on himself. You figure it out. He's getting his life together. This motherfucker ain't about shit. He know his old ways was wrong, y'all. But he's only human. I just want to pull one more. I just want to pull one more. What other messages do you have for us, Spirit? What other messages do you have for us regarding Chris Brown? Then I'm going to jump back to the tarot real quick just for that third baby on the way question. You can't seriously be that stupid. <laughs> he knows he was tripping, y'all. I know I said one more, but Spirit's telling me to keep pulling. Let me see. Yeah, two more gets paid now. <sighs> Don't be sorry. Be better. I love when spirit gives me confirmation. <laughs> he wants to get his life together. He's not looking for sympathy. He's looking for revelation, elevation. That motherfucker is lying. I feel like that's just, you know, y'all know sometimes people become e easy targets by some of the things they do. So now it's like, oh yeah, remember when he hit Rihanna? So y'all know he's doing this. Y'all know he ain't shit. You know, they, they just, I, I get what that card means. So, yeah, y'all, please, drop down in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this reading. But I am about to quickly, before I wrap this up, ask about that third child. So, Spirit, is it true that Chris Brown has a third child on the way? Is that true, Spirit? Show us. What's going on? Does Chris Brown really have another baby on the way? Is there a baby in the picture, Spirit? Does he have another baby on the way? Does he have another baby on the way? You know what, y'all? I think I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to pull the, the, from the love deck one more time. I just want to see the general message about his love life. But does he have another baby on the way? Hmm. Somebody definitely saying that they do Queen of Wands. That's sex. Two of Swords reverse. Hard, hard decisions about something. Four of Pentacles reverse. A release. Strength. Nine of Wands, Reverse, Bad Boundaries, Ace of Cups. <sighs> Y'all, I'm not seeing any chill, anything that is pertaining to children. But I do feel like he, he kind of, he slipped up and he made a bad decision. But I don't feel like we're going to see another child. But who, we're going to see. But I'm not seeing no babies in this spread. But I do feel like there is a woman. There is a woman that's making this claim. And he did have something with that person. So something transpired, trans, uh, transpired. I don't think that this is something that's just like out of the blue. Tough decisions. Maybe somebody having an abortion. Yeah, this is showing just like weak boundaries. Nine of Wands reversed. The strength card reversed. Weak boundaries. He wasn't on his A game with something. So he slipped. He allowed somebody to, somebody to say some shit like this. So like I said, but I feel like he's trying to get his life together. Y'all know he was depressed, y'all. And how do y'all what do y'all expect? So let me just really quick pull. Just I just want to know the general energy spirit for his love life. What is the general energy for Chris Brown's love life? Spirit, show me the general energy for his love life. What's going on? What's going on? Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. Show us the general energy for his love life. Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Spirit, show us what is the general energy for his love life. In the shadows, cheating, deception, pride, too much pride, no contact. I think this is, I feel like this is his baby, him and his baby, his current baby mama insecurities yeah this is yeah this is picking up on his current situation a higher purpose spiritual y'all 
spiritual. He's trying to get right with people and not waste nobody else's time. But on the outside looking in, that might look a little selfish to somebody. Let's see. Give us another message, spirit. Vacation. This is somebody just trying to get away. Get their mind clear. Find their self again. Healing. I said find yourself again. He's trying to get himself together, y'all. Let me see one more. Single parent. Yeah, he ain't found the one. That go that single parent. Let me see. Spirit, you got another message for us? Come through. Come through. Come through. Shadow work. Inner child. Shad I just say. I don't know how much more. Thank you, Spirit, for your confirmation. That's all I'm going to say. Because I'll be feeling it before I pull it. That's a true reader. Let me see. Triggered. Trigger. He's trying to heal those triggers. One more. I just got spirit. This is spirit got my hand. I got to keep pulling. It's so much emotionally unavailable. That's him and that baby mama. Cold. I just said sometimes when you're trying to get your stuff together and you got to be honest with yourself, like I really don't love you, you come off as just cold. Or sometimes you do love people, but you just got to get your life together. And they feel like you're just blocking them out. Let me see this too. I didn't pull that by accident. Friendship. Like I said, it's just not about just, you know, other women. He's trying to get his life right with a lot of people that he hurt. Not ready. He's just not ready for no. He, he don't want to be with that girl. He's not ready to be completely committed to somebody. But that is what he desires. That's what he wants. One more, just for a clarifier. Let's just wrap it all up. Let's see. Family, I told y'all this is his goal right here. He wants, he wants this. And this is why he's trying to get his act together. Because this is the ultimate goal. This is what he wants. He just wants it with somebody that he really, really wants. Y'all kind of get what I'm saying? Not somebody that was just fine as hell and that was ready to just throw the pussycat. He really wants something serious, but he also knows he got to come correct. You have to be the message you bring. You know, like they say, you got to be the best representative of what you want. Guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Y'all know I've been trying to do this reading for so long. So shout out to y'all who dropped them questions. Now, these were some good questions, y'all. So please keep on requesting. Make sure y'all send me at least five questions to any reading that y'all want. Um, drop y'all comments down in the damn comment section because if I missed anything, forgive me. If y'all want to add anything, I always look at my comments so I can get educated because I don't be knowing everything, y'all. So, um, yeah, guys. I'm getting ready to cut this off because I want to get into my next reading. I believe it's going to be Doja Cat or Chris Brown. I mean, sorry. Look, I'm still on Chris Brown <laughs> or Drake. Now, do y'all want like love readings on these people or just like, uh, just like a general reading, just touching on everything? Let me know, guys. So until next time, Magical Family, love y'all. Peace, love, and light. Till next time.